Bonnie. Happy Monday, Memorial Day 2022. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is kind of a strange day for me because literally two years ago today, my husband was in a motorcycle accident. He took his bike out on Memorial Day 2020, just as we were going into the pandemic, and literally less than a half mile from our house, a bird hit his helmet and he just kind of flew off his bike. And he broke his elbow, which at the time we were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he broke his elbow. We're in this pandemic. He did physical therapy, he was doing really well, but his blood work was a little off. So it was a little bit of a strange um, thing that happened with his elbow break. And here it turns out uh, that he had what was called smoldering myeloma, which is the precursor to a blood cancer called multiple myeloma. So for two years, he was actually in this asymptomatic smoldering state. And then January, as you all know, um, he got full-blown myeloma because he broke his back. So it's just a weird day for us. So today, we just found out Thursday, this past Thursday, that my husband's cancer is now 98% in remission, which is wonderful. I mean, we're totally thankful. He's starting to get back on his feet. He was able to get on the lawn tractor. Um, it was just, it's a really good time. The kind of strange thing about myeloma, though, is that it will not stay in this remission state. You cannot get rid of myeloma permanently. It's an incurable blood cancer. So the next best thing, oh my gosh, you guys, this has just been such a crazy ride, um, is that he gets a stem cell transplant. So if anyone's familiar with stem cell transplants, which I know a lot of you are, because a lot of people have reached out to me um, that said they either had myeloma or leukemia or another blood cancer. So we're hoping um, everything goes smoothly. This summer, he's going to get scheduled to have a stem cell transplant, which could put him into remission um, for a longer period of time. So if you have myeloma, you're definitely going to be on some sort of drug regimen probably for the rest of your life. Although um, the remission times are becoming a little bit better because they've got more research going. So I just wanted to do like this weird life update reflective time today on Memorial Day because I'm like, oh my gosh, not only has the pandemic changed our lives like so much, but it's so weird that it's been two years now uh, since my husband's um, really myeloma discovery. He didn't really discover it. It wasn't until September that he actually found out that he had the smoldering myeloma. Believe it or not, it took all summer for them to figure it out because sometimes they don't. It's such a rare cancer. Like it, Doctors don't put two and two together, but I'm like, oh my goodness, what? a ride and it just thinking back to everything that's happened in these past two years not just with the myeloma but with the pandemic bath and body works <laughs> i'm like all the sense coming out but i have been in an organizing mood um today my husband he was downstairs kind of going okay i want to sell this i want to sell that i'm going i want to sell everything i own i mean we have we're terrible we have like board games and, you know, toys from when my daughter was little and my daughter's kind of like, I don't want to save this stuff. <laughs> it's funny. If anyone is Generation X like me, um, you tend to be a little bit worse when it comes to saving stuff. It, it's a weird thing. I feel like millennials and um, like my daughter's age, they don't like stuff <laughs> as much. <laughs> Not like me. Like, it's funny. My husband and I are so nostalgic over just anything. We'll be like, oh, like a toy or something. And my daughter's like, hey, get rid of it. <laughs> so <laughs> we are trying really hard to thin out our house, including Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so um, I'm doing a use it up, donate, 
uh, possible garage sale for a lot of stuff. But, um, you know, I really want to, you know, be a little bit better about everything. But obviously, I'm going to keep reviewing. This is like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I just need to move it out as I move new stuff in. So I kind of want to do a little bit of a life update today. Um, I feel like I feel good today. I really do. I feel like my husband's got the best possible care. He's got really good doctors. And, like, you can't do anything other than, you know, hope and pray for the best. That's all we can do with anything. So I want to thank everyone who watches my channel. You've been a huge support system to me. I love reading my comments. I've been so bad lately answering comments. I just feel like I got to get back to my comments. I do read them at night sometimes, but then I fall asleep. But I need to answer more. And then, of course, my mom and I and my daughter, we've all been making bracelets. Here's a set that needs to go on. I got to get bracelets listed. I'm like, there's so much to do. But I am extremely grateful. I have air conditioning today. It's like 90 degrees out. And I got to say the air conditioning more than anything has made my, my life better. So I'm grateful that we were able to get air conditioning today. So I have a little Bath & Body Works review. I forgot to review um, Happy Birthday. <laughs> I got it and I'm like, what the heck? And then I also wanted to mention that Bath & Body Works is having a men's care sale, 650 today. Should you buy it now or wait, honestly? I'm thinking it might be a better idea just to wait it out to semi-annual sale. I think the best deal right now, if you go into the store, are the three for seven on these lip oils. Oh my goodness, I'm like addicted to this lip oil now. It smells like buttercream, and um, it just goes on really, really nicely. And uh, your lips look shiny and moisturized. I love this stuff. So um, if I get anything... While the sale's going on, it's going to be more lip oil if I get into the store. I keep thinking tomorrow's Monday, of course, so I'm, I'm confused again. But happy birthday. So Bath & Body Works uh, came out with this little set. It's supposed to be, um, fr they call it, I think, Frosted Vanilla. It's not Frosted Vanilla. This is Christmas cookies, you guys. Cute set. I love when they do this because this would be a really cute set to give to someone on their birthday. However, um... It's Christmas cookies. <laughs> I smell the almond in here. It smells good, but um, I don't know. I wish they'd come up with like a sprinkled birthday cake type of scent, but it's cute. I just wanted to um, point this out that these are available now and they do make really adorable um, birthday presents. So I wanted to do a little uh, update on that because like I said, I was like, darn it, it's Christmas cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas cookies isn't my favorite either. I much prefer um, the confetti cake pop, which is the vanilla confetti sparkle. I like that one better. I also, oh my gosh, you guys, I pulled all these out. <gasps> Aren't these pretty? Speaking of bracelets, oh my gosh, I am such, um, uh, I'm like a bird with shiny things. Look what I got for, oh my gosh, um, Halloween bracelets. Check out these focal beads. I don't know if you can see these in my hand. <gasps> they're yellow crystals. Oh, they're actually orangey. They're not really yellow. I don't know why I said yellow. They're like orangish. They're, you know what they are? They're burnt orange. I just dropped one. That's okay. I got it. There we go. Um, but I got a whole bunch of these crystals. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are going to make such pretty Halloween bracelets. So I know everyone's looking forward to Halloween. I've actually um, bought a whole bunch of Halloween beads already. Uh, my mother and daughter and I were getting excited already about Halloween because we got to start making Halloween bracelets now so we can get them listed in like August. So that's when people start buying them. But anyway, I wanted to do a little life update. I wanted to share happy birthday with you, which reminds me of Christmas, which I'm not ready for, by the way. And um, happy Monday. I think I'm actually going to take a little break this evening. <laughs> I'm going to finish, hopefully tonight. I want to get through like two more episodes of Stranger Things. I've been watching Stranger Things like for the past two nights. Oh my goodness. This is definitely uh, an eventful season. It's like sit on the edge of your seat eventful. So uh, that has been kind of fun. And then we've been watching Seinfeld for some reason. We've like really gotten into watching like Seinfeld from beginning to end. So that's my other uh, big thing. So I hope everyone's having 
a really good day. Bath and Body Works is also doing uh, free shipping today um, on 25, which is not super exciting, but it is what it is. I will be back tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.